Hi, my name is Patrick Ishmael, and you don't really see trolleys like this much anymore. For most of us, this is a piece of our history, a little bit of Americana, that's largely disappeared across the country, been replaced by buses and by cars. But if politicians in Kansas City have their way, they may be making a comeback, but it could cost taxpayers millions of dollars. Last month, the Parking and Transportation Commission and the Kansas City Council approved a plan to install $100 million worth of trolley lines following a two-mile route along Main Street from the River Market to Crown Center. That's $50 million per mile and an expenditure that doesn't fit with the city's economic circumstances or maximizes its transit dollar. Kansas City and other cities removed their trolley lines decades ago in no small part because trolleys were impractical for their times. And the impracticality problems of trolleys remain to this day. The Parking and Transportation Commission's own report puts the expense of trolleys at five times what a comparable bus costs, and that's assuming there are no cost overruns in the trolley line's construction. Is a trolley project really the best use of already depleted taxpayer dollars? The money Kansas City would spend on these projects couldn't be spent on other pressing municipal matters. And if it's funded by a new tax, what will Kansas Cityans lose from the private sector that will instead go to streetcars? What would the city forego if it rebuilds rail lines that were torn out long ago? In this economy, Kansas City needs trolleys? Really? For the Show Me Institute, I'm Patrick Ishmael.